Hi, I'm meteorologist Laura Belanger with the National Weather Service here in Peachtree City. Today is July 3rd, and here is the weekly weather briefing. Our main forecast concerns this week are really in the next 48 hours, and we're concerned with the track and potential impacts of Hurricane Arthur and also the forecast for the 4th of July festivities. Now, there's good forecast model consensus over the next several days, so I'm just showing you one particular model, and this is the ECMWF, or the European Forecast Model. Um, now, for this morning, it's showing Hurricane Arthur in the South Atlantic Bight, which is off the Georgia-South Carolina coast. A cold front is also expected to move through the state today, pushing Arthur to the northeast and towards the North Carolina coast. By tomorrow morning, Hurricane Arthur is expected to brush the North Carolina coast as drier and cooler air moves into Georgia from behind the front. This will allow for cooler morning temperatures for the early 4th of July festivities. By Saturday morning, some moisture remains across the far southeastern portion of the state as the boundary remains across the area, with the majority of the area still seeing cooler and rain-free conditions. Now, Sunday, isolated shower and thunderstorm chances return to portions of eastern and southern Georgia, and the next front is moving through the Midwest and will approach our area into the work week. By Monday, the best shower and thunderstorm potential is still across southern and eastern portions of Georgia, but this should change into Tuesday with the approaching front, with those rain chances extending into the northern portions of the state. Now, the National Hurricane Center's official track for Hurricane Arthur as of 11 o'clock this morning has it brushing the North Carolina coastline on July 4th. Now, it is expected to intensify to a Category 2 hurricane within the next 24 hours. And if Arthur actually does make landfall rather than staying just off the coast, this would be the earliest in the season North Carolina has ever seen a landfalling storm. The current record is held by a storm that made landfall on July 11, 1901. Now, hurricane and tropical storm warnings and watches have been issued along the coastline for South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, and so on. Now, anyone with interest in these areas should monitor and heed these alerts. Now, you may not know that the National Hurricane Center now has storm surge inundation maps that are available online. When you navigate to nhc.noaa.gov, you can click on the storm of interest. When the new page loads, select storm surge inundation. This experimental product shows the potential storm surge flooding that would result from a tropical storm or a hurricane. Now shown here, up to three feet of flooding can be expected along the Georgia, Carolina, and Mid-Atlantic coastlines as a result of Hurricane Arthur. Now what everyone really wants to know is what the 4th of July forecast looks like. And right now the drier and cooler air mass will bring temperatures into the 60s across the area tomorrow morning with isolated areas in the upper 50s. Now these temperatures are about 10 degrees lower than what the area has seen in the last several days. Now highs will also be cooler and a little closer to average with the majority of the area in the upper 80s and low 90s. No rain is expected, so don't worry about your firework plans. They should be good. Now, for those of you who need a reminder, this time last year was a different story with many of the holiday festivities either postponed or canceled entirely. Portions of the Atlanta metro area saw three to five inches of rain on the 4th of July last year. Don't forget that you can customize your own forecast display using the activity planner on our website. First, navigate to weather.gov slash Atlanta, and then click on Activity Planner on the left-hand side. Choose the specific criteria you would like, and then select your location. Here, I chose the criteria listed above, such as when the temperature would be above 85 degrees Fahrenheit. The chart shown here highlights the period of time when your criteria is actually met. So for Peachtree City, which is the location I chose, you can see that there are no rain chances that are expected until Monday. Now, in summary, Hurricane Arthur poses no threat to Georgia. And the 4th of July is expected to be a beautiful sunny day in contrast to last year, so go ahead and make those outdoor plans. Some of you may even decide you need a light jacket with those early morning festivities with the cool temperatures. Now, afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms do return on Sunday, but it's mainly across middle and south Georgia. Everybody else, you'll see those chances increase later in the week. Now, another front does approach the area on Tuesday, so be aware of that. Otherwise, have a happy 4th of July.